guys, welcome back to another video. I have a grocery haul for you today and it's a little unusual. We're a family of 13 people and this next month we're gonna be traveling for a couple weeks, two to three weeks. And so when I grocery shop, usually I try to get the bulk of our food once a month. But this time I got about two weeks worth. One week, the first week we're gonna be home, but our teenagers are gonna be gone. So it's still very unusual. They're at camp, they're away at camp. And then um, the second week, we're gonna be traveling in our RV. The third and fourth week, maybe traveling some. I mean, for sure, the third week, maybe half of the fourth week, we're not quite sure. So I wanted to just shop for the first two weeks for sure. I wanted to eat what we have already. I didn't wanna buy a lot of stuff. We're also expecting this next week a whole hog that we bought and we're really low freezer space. In fact, I think we're buying a new chest freezer, but it just made me not wanna buy the meat or freezer th things, really. We have plenty of stuff. Also, the food prices are making me bleh, not wanna <laughs> buy more meat. I'm thankful that we have a stock of it and that we had stocked up a lot so we can just not buy for a little bit. So, you know, sometimes you feel like, oh, I don't wanna spend money. Spending money feels gross. <laughs> Well, I mean, we bought groceries. I spent money, I'll show you. But that's kind of what I was feeling. Also, as a side note, last month I stocked up on a bunch of like quick, easy snacks, pool snacks, whatever, junk food. I don't buy a lot of that processed food normally. I am so over it, I'm so over it. So that's what happens, is I'll do it for a month or two and then I'm like, I don't ever wanna see junk food again. Nobody gets full, nobody wants to eat regular dinners. It's not good for us. So I really tried to, I was just over the junk food. We have three birthdays, so we had to have a little bit. And we need the convenience because we're traveling and I don't have like a whole week to make homemade snacks. But we are back to snacks of fruit and cheese and nuts and veggies, because hard boiled eggs. <sighs> just makes us all feel better. I did want to get a few convenience items that are fun. So I tried to go the healthy route, which is very expensive when you buy pre-made healthy snacks, but I'll show you what I found. Last time I asked you guys, should I try Costco? And a lot of people said Costco is very expensive. That They have more maybe of that pre-packaged healthy stuff. They have more organic options for fruits and vegetables, but a lot of people complained of the prices being really high there. Well, I think they're really high at Sam's Club too, so I'm not sure what's best. Let me just start off. I'll tell you, our budget is normally $1,300. $1,300 a month about, and I will, at the end of this, I'll show you my Azure Standard, which is where I get my grains and stuff, bulk items. I spent a lot of money there this month, so that goes on this budget. But anyway, I got these for Belle's birthday. She loves chocolate, so we got a couple different chocolate cake options, and it's nice to just buy those there. They actually have such good baked goods. We are never disappointed, and it's great because it saves me a ton of time baking. Now, she's a baker, she would bake us stuff, but she doesn't mind the store buy at all. She likes it, actually. Um, I wanted to make some breakfast sandwiches, so I got some of these English muffins. There are 12 in each of these bags, so 36 of them, and this Canadian bacon. Thought it'd be fun to do with eggs and cheese just for a few breakfasts this month. I don't know why, just wanted to do it. I used this pasteurized milk for yogurt, otherwise we buy our milk from a farm, raw milk. And we get our eggs there too, so um, I just need one of these for the first two weeks to make a gallon of yogurt that we eat with our homemade granola. We got some tortillas. I'm still buying the junky tortillas, <laughs> the white ones, the small, but they're they're good. The kids really like them, and they make for some easy lunches. I got these popsicles that are pretty good ingredients. They've really liked those, so I thought those would be fun to have in the RV. And then I found this sweet chili Thai inspired chicken dip so i got one of those that was definitely an impulse buy I had no intention of buying that at all um, but i thought i'd just get it because i am obsessed with thai food and it seemed like one of those things that's just around for a little bit i wanted to try it out we got some honey cured ham just three of those for lunch meat and then bell requested the cereal honey bunches of oats for her birthday Sometimes one box of cereal for our, from Sam's Club is not enough for our family. We always have cereal basically on birthdays because kids always request it since we don't buy it normally. Um, so we got two of them just to have extra, so it might be like an extra breakfast too. 
and then dates my husband loves dates some of the kids too i'm gonna push this over there and talk about that later i got a few items that were not grocery items i'll just show you what they are but they, i won't include them in the budget they had their life straws on sale they had their flashlights on sale and my kids are going to camp we needed a few more and then i got these two big buckets we have nothing like this and we're washing the rv with this big scrubber thing that's not quite big enough for the ice cream buckets that we're always using for car washing so that all together was about $50 for all of those. Okay, I got a bunch of convenient salad bags. I know these aren't the healthiest either, but I love them, love the salads. So we got Caesar, kale, Solo likes kale a lot. A couple dill pickle ones, a couple Southwest. So those would be easy to just stick in the RV for traveling. And then some veggies, and I'll make some ranch dip that they can, um, that is, that's really clean because I make it and we'll just have these along. So the avocados were actually less than a dollar an avocado. They're good size. Hopefully they are good ones because I haven't seen that deal for a long time. I stocked up on grapes, not cheap, five something each for each one of these, I think. Yeah, just under $6, but even the candy snap ones, these are super good. The kids love them. So we got two of those and two just black grapes that are seedless and a couple things of peaches. The, the fruit wasn't cheap, but like I told you, I was over the junk food. Totally over it, so <laughs> spent money on the fruit. Um, we got strawberries. They were not a bad deal. $3.79, I want to say, for each one. So we got several of those. And plums. The kids have already been in this bag eating them <laughs> since, I, since we brought them in. So I did not like the Aldi fruits very much most of them didn't taste great we have a whole bunch of apples they're not eating i'm gonna have to make applesauce with and they didn't like the nectarines plums or peaches there they were tasteless this we ended up halfway through the month getting sam's club ones and they devoured them mostly so they just taste way better just one thing in bananas peace is the only one loving bananas right now maybe seth too we used to buy like six or seven of these bunches every time we shopped but nobody's wanting bananas these days. We got some cucumbers, tomatoes. This would be for hamburgers and sandwiches and stuff. We are growing tomatoes, but it's not keeping up with our needs. And this is for dipping. My little girls love eating raw tomatoes. So that, those and those will go with the carrots and veggies. I guess I should have had those together. This is some of the um, healthy snacks. I try, I really try to look for healthy snacks and it's overwhelming because they, everything looks like it's healthy you know they all say they're healthy and then you look at the ingredients and you're like that this lies all lies <laughs> i think these are pretty good you know the best of my label reading abilities they were not cheap they were about ten dollars each so we'll just put those in the rv in the fridge for an easy snack when we're traveling and i try to get the healthier chips so that's my that's my best intentions, guys. I don't know what to tell you. We got some string cheese. We haven't bought this for a long time because we've been getting our raw cheddar from Azure Standard and just cutting it, but this is just so much easier for traveling. And then these were on sale too, these baby bell. My kids really love these as well as Solo and I, so we'll stick those in. I noticed they had different flavors like white cheddar, and I think that's why, and mozzarella plus the regular ones. So we'll take those along for some easy snacks. And then here's the paper products I got. We just needed paper towels. I never go in Sam's Club without getting <laughs> toilet paper, basically. And then we got some more paper plates because we probably use a little more in the summer. But I noticed I sent Solo a picture from the store. This was $25. I think this used to be $14 or $15. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I just forget. I'm getting old. But that seems like it might be my last bag of paper plates. That seems like a lot. I don't know. Tell me if you guys remembered the old price of them. <laughs> My total was $416 at Sam's Club, and that's without the non-food items that I showed you. And uh, Belle now is going to go to Walmart to pick up a few more things. She has to run some errands for other things, so she offered to do that for me. So I will show you after she comes home what, what else we picked up. In the meantime, though, let me show you my Azure Standard haul for this last month, which goes on this budget. And before I forget to tell you, the cow and the pig, or the hog and the beef, whatever y'all call it, <laughs> we do budget for those separately. However, when people say, well, you, you don't spend very much money on groceries, but you, 
I got a tap dancer here. You already have your beef that you don't count for. We don't, we, we do budget for that separately, but we also use our Sam's Club card for all our groceries and it gives us cash back and every year we get about a month's worth or more of points, more really. It's just about enough to cover the meat that we buy. Um, in bulk, it's a lot because we we put all our groceries on that card, we put our gas on that card. If we have airplane tickets, we put it on there, and we pay it off every month. So um, we're not carrying debt, but we only buy it, things that we have the cash for. But it does give us a lot of points. So technically, it is all in that budget because I'm not subtracting the money that we got paid back. You know what I mean? So because of that program. Okay guys, I want to show you my Azure standard order for the month. This is hard red wheat. I've been looking for hard white wheat for a long, long time. Haven't been able to get it since the beginning of the year really. We're fresh out. We bought some all-purpose flour, but we're using the hard red wheat for grinding. These are 50 pound bags. I got five of them. That's about a year's worth, I think, of bread for us. So there's three here stacked on the chair. They're heavy. I didn't want too many on the table. And then we also got some cheese. So. This is what we've been buying for cheese. It lasts for three months about, which is what it takes for us to go through these eight, five plus pound bricks of raw cheddar cheese. We love it, we use it for everything. We shred it, we slice it, and it's working out great. So we got another box of that. And the last thing I got is, let me find it. I read in my comment section, one of you told me, or a couple of you told me that Azure Standard has a great salt grinder. So we're trying that out. It seems like it's very reliable, great reviews on it, so I just bought that. Things I could not get there, frozen vegetables. I wanted mixed vegetables like carrot, pea, uh, green beans, and um, honey, a big thing of honey. I think both things were in their plant, what they stored in the plant that burned down. Yes, do you have anything to add? <laughs> I eat a cookie, chocolate chip cookie. She's eating yeah. a chocolate chip cookie. So both things are in the plant that burned down, so I probably won't get them for a long time still, but I keep trying every month, and that's it. They also didn't have hard white wheat, but I don't need it now. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna What do you think? He's making faces. That's, that's okay. kind of how I feel. I wasn't expecting it to be that sweet, I should have read the sweet part. I don't really like sweet things unless... I love Thai. I love Thai food. Um, it doesn't and, taste Thai. Uh, it tastes kind of like sushi. I think it tastes like chili, like there's a kick to it. It's spicy. I think... <laughs> what is it? I don't know. <laughs> it tastes like spicy, sweet sauce. I mean, dip. <laughs> it's weird. It's, the main ingredient, it's not terrible. The main ingredient, <laughs> except it. for water, is chili peppers. Mm-hmm. That explains it. I put all this yummy fruit front and center. These people are used to junk food, and they need to be enticed by the beauty of God's fruit. <laughs> it looks good, though, right? All right, on to Walmart. Walmart haul. Belle did it for me. She went shopping. Thankfully, thank you, Belle. So she picked up some fun items. We have company coming tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow night. Well, tomorrow's Belle's birthday, but we won't see him till Saturday, I think. Our company, we're hosting the Millers, actually, the Miller family from YouTube. They've come before, we love them, have a lot of fun with them. Anyway, I'm, I've had her get a bunch of this bread. I'm gonna try to make some Cuban sandwiches for lunch that day. These are a dollar each, so that's cool. Well, I couldn't find a raisin out. Oh, oregano, no problem. We got some marshmallows for the RV. We got a lot of graham crackers and chocolate before, but not enough marshmallows, so that's for our camping trips. Bread and butter pickles, the recipe I'm using for the Cuban sandwiches calls for that, so we tried that, and honey mustard as well. We could have made our own, but we just bought it because it's easy. We use sesame oil a lot for Asian food that we cook, but, <laughs> but, um, Thank you, Belle. You should let him say that. Wait, what are you going to do? He's saying that we're going to eat marshmallows. You're going to eat marshmallows? Yes, we're going to eat marshmallows. The boys use it a lot okay. cooking. Oh, and Belle. Belle, Luca, and Judah all use it when they're ramen. cooking ramen. Yes. Come on. Belle's birthday tomorrow. She wants that cereal that I showed you and chocolate milk. Chocolate she milk loves chocolate. chocolate. <laughs> 
And then the uh, Cuban sandwiches, we also wanted Swiss cheese, which I could not find there. I told Belle to get a lot of it, a lot of sliced Swiss cheese. She got these three huge blocks. I don't even, tell me what to do with Swiss cheese. She oh, couldn't find I a slice, need... and now I got way too much. <laughs> I need enough for, to be generous with all of these things, you know? Hey, Mom. Mm -hmm. What? I'm going to make Papa's tuna milk instead of you. I'm editing it. <laughs> I don't know if it'll be up when this happens, when this comes up. Oh, okay. But um, I'm going to make his tuna milk and Swiss cheese. Oh, she edits Papa's videos, and she's always like, oh, do we have this? Do we have that? I want to make this. <laughs> I have to watch these videos over and over again, and they look good. The food looks good. Okay, so we know what to do with the extra Swiss. Then she needed to pick up, they're going to camp in a couple days, so she needed to pick up a couple notebooks for kids. This is not from our grocery haul. These are cool little notebooks, though. This one's like a leather bound. Micah needed a, it's his Bible journal, and he needed a new Bible. I love that Walmart has good deals on Bibles. They may not last forever because they're not like real leather covers, but they're nice and they, they do a good job for a while. And then this one, I think, is Belle's notebook. A couple books. I think those came from Amazon. Anyway, the total was $74, but I can't find the receipt to tell you what those cost and what this costs. But it can't have been that much. I'm sure the Swiss cheese put it over the edge. And maybe the sesame oil. <laughs> Altogether, I don't really know an exact total. But I'll try to write here a close estimate. And we're going to spend some money on the road. We're going to my parents in Florida. So maybe I'll meal prep some down there. I think meal prepping and RV life is very, very helpful. Because we can just pull something out that's already made. Uh, we're gonna have a weird situation down there at my parents' house where some of us will be in the RV, some will be with them. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how it all work, work out food-wise, but I'm just not gonna worry about it too much ahead of time. I'm worrying about that first week, not worrying. I'm pl planning for the first week and then we'll hit a Sam's Club down there and go from there. So that's where we're at. I like to do food videos on Saturday and because we're traveling and I won't just have all my normal meal prep videos next Saturday will be one but I don't think I'll have all of them maybe maybe a couple some of them might be on the road so that'll be interesting stay tuned for those on Saturdays and for Thursday videos our trip and our RV life and what's going on in our regular vlog everyday real life thank you guys for watching it's getting loud here. Usually I, on grocery shopping day, I like to pick up some easy dinner, but tonight we found out it's free sandwich at Chick-fil-A night. So we are about to load in the van and go get ourselves some free sandwiches and make them regret that that rule ever existed. No, Mom, I have to go shopping. Um, I have to go shopping today. Okay, gotta go shopping today. Yeah. Why? Why does she need to shop? Uh, we end up buying a bunch of fries and getting their free chicken sandwiches and it is the least we've ever spent for fast food with all these kids. <laughs> Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, did you get winter clothes on? What in the world? <laughs> it's because I got really cold from Say bye. getting out of the pool. Oh. So are you going to eat marshmallows? Yeah. Say, I'm going to eat marshmallows. We're gonna eat marshmallows. Well, I, marshmallows. I need a shot today because I need to get some oh. we're gonna eat I think Noel wants to shot because it's Belle's birthday tomorrow. Oh yes, you too. <laughs> uh oh. And Aunt Abigail's. Everybody has a birthday tomorrow. Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Oh.